Welcome to Mechanical Tutorials. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. Hi, today I am going to explain about thickened cut. So here I have taken single cylindrical solid block. So using this surface So the component is divided into two components with a certain thickness. So I am going to show you how to cut component with surface thick and cut. And also I am going to explain how to create this component that is cosmetic container by using thick and cut. So this is the container. So it looks like this. So I am going to show you how to create these two components. So here I am going to focus on thick and cut, not complete design. So let's start now. Here I am in this sketcher mode. Created simple rectangle with 20 by 50 mm. So select this feature, select revolve and axis select this edge, say ok. So I have created one more sketch. there are two arcs. So we can dimension later. So I am while creating any surface my suggestion is not to use spline because we can't dimension splines but we can dimension arcs. So for generating engineering drawings we need dimensions. So we have to always use arcs. So whenever you design any product or any component, try to use arcs and lines, not a spline. Now select this line, go to surface, extrude. So keep it in top view, make it mid plane and just keep on increasing. So it's a 50, we can give 50. Keep it in isometric. So for understanding I am going to change this color. So this is the surface I have created. Now select thick end cut. Here I am giving 1 mm. See here we can select any option like both sides or one side or other side. So we can use any option. Here I am using both sides and say ok. Here it will ask for all bodies. So we have to select all bodies and say ok. Since the component is small, this 1 mm looks very big. So 
so if you want to make high precision we can give 0.5 for manufacturing cost will increase see this is how it looks like now i am going to show you how to create this component see here for visibility i have taken as gold now select this body so when we cut with thicken option it divides into two solid bodies so select this right click and insert new part here we can give propagate visual properties but don't give override default templates say okay now it will ask for one option change the units of the derived part to the units of base part so we have to select as yes. so we'll get the exact properties so it is converted into separate file now what we have to do is we have to create a shell select this face and select this face here thickness i am giving 1 mm so based on the required design requirement we can increase the thickness so here select this face and go to sketch and offset offset i am taking 1 mm it is showing outside line so we have to reverse this see okay now select this edge and convert entity now go to feature select extrude so since we have two lines it will extrude here i am giving 48 i'll explain why i have taken 48 so the bottom component is created now let's go to main body here select this second solid body insert into new part propagate visual properties say okay say yes so here also we have to save the file so for visibility i'm going to change the color Say okay. Now we have to create shell. Select these two faces and give one mm. Here, 
here I am not adding any fillets because I am focusing on thicken cut now these two components are created so we will try to assemble these components so go to new file assembly say ok now I am taking the first component so place it somewhere here and change the units MMGS. now save this file see we have to save this file whenever we place first component we have to save this file otherwise system will become slow now right click make it float so for first component select this front plane give mating conditions say ok select top plane and top plane say ok right plane right plane coincide say ok now insert second component select this face say ok now select this outer face and this face say ok see for proper alignment this first component front plane and second component front plane we have to coincide then we will get exact distance So based on our requirement we can maintain the gap with the tick and cut option and here we can see see here we can see this face is meeting this top face so while designing we have to measure this distance and uh, this distance and we have to maintain this internal extrude so the, that's how we use tick and cut for creating any plastic components or sheet metal components thank you